This is a Jay Tercer Telecaster style guitar. It was my first guitar from when I was about 14 or 15 and it has treated me pretty well. It got me going when I was first learning stuff like Queen or Earl Smith. Little things like that that I learned off of Guitar Hero at the time. And by the time I turned 18, I felt that I needed some kind of upgrade, so I got myself some replacement pickups. It was then that I made the dumb mistake of being 18 years old at the time and saying, yo, let's customize this a bit further. And so my dumb mistake begins. It started after watching a couple of YouTube videos where these guys took their Stratocasters or something and just torched them. Kind of trying to go for that old Jimi Hendrix vibe, the burned guitar kind of thing. The big problem is these guys had some equipment that I didn't have, but my 18 year old mind said, all right, screw it, let's do it anyway. Keep in mind that these videos were taken a couple of years ago, so the quality is pretty crap. And I'll show you how I destroyed my first guitar. As I mentioned before, some of these videos had equipment that I didn't have access to, like this blowtorch that this guy is using. Then I came across this one video of this guy who just used lighter fluid in a match and got a pretty good effect. This is where I should have seen my first red flag. This guy is using a genuine Fender Stratocaster body, meanwhile my Telecaster is a budget guitar I found at a pawn shop. So the lacquer is definitely a huge difference in quality. Now here's a video of me trying to copy what I saw in the YouTube video. And it's also where I should have seen my second red flag. You can barely tell because I had a bad camera on this phone at the time, but what I saw wasn't lacquer falling apart or melting like it did in the YouTube video. I ended up seeing what looked like paper or something get caught up in flames, so I was definitely right about the lacquer. So this obviously left a lot of problems for my guitar. Much of the body was in ruins, and some of the parts were burnt so badly that they chipped away easily. So, like there's this part on the neck pocket that just came off so easily because it was that burnt. And I couldn't really fix it before I got wood glue or some wood fill or anything to hold it at the time. So what happened here? I used way too much lighter fluid, honestly. I remember that we went from, oh, this not enough fire, we squirted a lot more and said, oh crap, that's too much fire. On top of that, I, th I wholeheartedly believe it has to do with some cheap lacquer and I doubt that guitar was really painted. Like I said before, my second red flag, there was some kind of paper or something that was burning on the guitar. So this led me to believe that this wasn't really painted on, but rather a guitar skin or a guitar wrap, and they just put some kind of lacquer over it to make it look nice. And ironically enough, I didn't want to sand the guitar down to find out if that was the case. <laughs> so lesson learned. I should definitely pick up the proper equipment if I want to try this kind of thing again. And that's the story of how I destroyed my guitar. Hope you enjoyed watching and learn from my mistake, otherwise you will destroy a perfectly good guitar.